from Spencer's online which is an American store it's awesome we really should have it over here they do loads of props and really cheaply you know reasonably priced stuff which is cool obviously you can't reload it like record but it lights up it makes noise pretty cool and then there we go the portal gun with this one I think please press the button so it makes the portal gun noise pretty cool. To my understanding, this was one of the first versions that they did, and you probably can't see it because well, you'd have to get quite close to the camera. But it shows this C-137's portal gun, which is Rick Sanchez's. But um, the only problem with this, um, we got friends, thankfully, in America, sent it over, which is great because a lot of UK fans of Rick and Morty, like ourselves, probably notice there's not a lot of stuff we can get over here at all. Well, you certainly couldn't get this cosplay dress. I'll mention where this is from and go into that in a bit of detail. A bit later. Um, where's I going with this? Oh, this is like the first version. So it, it does the job. You can see what it is. It makes the noise and you can see the light. It obviously doesn't fire a real portal, we can only dream, right? <laughs> but there's another one coming out. There's been three versions. So here's another one. Because I'm an obsessive collector, this is thanks to my very, 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 very good friend, and in my opinion, Rick and Morty soulmate Heather. Thank you so much, Heather. Um, and I'll let you know her, her Twitter hashtag as well in the comments who, bless her, packaged everything out from America and we also had another buddy from America that did a similar thing but Heather went above and beyond and um, I got this from eBay very cheaply from another uh, Rick and Morty fan this is a New York Comic Con exclusive so as you can see if you get the other portal gun just got another full gun. This is silver. It looks really cool, right? It's a lot bigger. <laughs> yeah, a lot bigger. Um, it says C137 on it. It does, from what we can tell, project the portal gun. Problem is, <laughs> I'm too much of a collector and I'm scared to take it out of the box to test it. So I shan't be doing that. As you can see, it says there, New York Comic Con. Also a New York Comic Con up there. Uh, the guy that let me have this for a very, very good price also gave me a free um, Me Six puzzle, which I'm not sure where it is, sorry. That was in a Loot Crate exclusive as well, which is awesome. But I've got another one coming. <laughs> so, three portal guns. I know Rick doesn't have three portal guns. It doesn't matter if you watch Rick and Morty. You know there's loads of different dimensions and lots of different versions, hence why I am female, tiny, ricky, female. You're probably wondering why I'm not doing the um, Audi and all this stuff. That's because I'm Welsh and I can't even try to put on his voice because it's too awesome. So I'm not going to. This, um, this was from Wordery. Is an online web store as far as I know. And um, had quite a lot of hassle getting this. And uh, it's book one is a special hardcover edition of the Rick and Morty comic. As you can see, it looks pretty awesome. Uh, hang on, I just want to see. Yeah, yeah, you can. Uh, this collects issues one to ten. Um, book two is now coming out imminently, I've ordered that, so, I mean, 
you can get individual issues, like I've got individual issues with different things, variants and things like that, but I like to have my comics all in one place. And Van Wolf will now show you something very special about this particular card cover. And this is one of the only times you'll ever see me opening what I consider to be a collectible. <laughs> if you just stay with us. How cool is that? I mean, how many books can you All open? Right. And you All got, right. and you got Rick and Morty right. talking to you. Uh, so that's the, one of the main reasons why I opt for the um, hard covers rather than individual ones. That and I'm disabled. I'm not in my wheelchair. No bones about it. Usually I'm in my wheelchair. I'm not. I'm sat on a settee. Um, so I find it really hard opening individual issues of comics because uh, I've only got full use of one hand. Mainly why I didn't do the double tiny rick cosplay. Cosplay is cool. And now on to wherever else. Ooh, this is interesting. Um, rick and Morty Blu-ray and DVD season one. You can probably hear we've got it on in the background already anyway on telly because we've got Netflix because we're lucky but um, I don't know why whether it's to do with licensing of Adult Swim not really sure not going to enter any legal battles uh, I think you're all awesome the creators everything awesome uh, Justin and Dan epic all the cast and crew epic um, I don't know why we don't have these in the UK considering we're on season 3 I don't get it and considering we're building more and more momentum, I think we finally sort of caught on that it's a really good show. It's not everybody's cup of tea, granted. Anyways, this comes in a slipcase. Probably going to edit that bit, don't worry about it. Comes in a slipcase. Very nice. Lovely, lovely. I've never seen this before, so this is pretty this is the cool. the first opening of the DVD, Blu-ray, thing. I'm just going to take it in a little minute, and then I'll show it to you. That is how cool that looks. Now, friends, oh, as you can see, my right hand's a bit messed up. Deal with it, whatever. I may have to keep jutting forward a bit. I'm not very well at the moment. Got cerebral palsy, but that's fine. You know, it's stupid, but here we are. Um, yeah, people across the border and in the UK have probably seen all these. Apologies if this is all repetition, but we're just doing it. But people who may not have seen stuff and like Rick and Morty and various. Yes! Oh! Now this is why I'm getting excited. Okay. <laughs> we just opened it up and I was really open. I heard rumors in America if you bought season one, you got this, which is the good Morty, and I wish I could quote which episode is from. I'll check it in the comments because I can't think right now. There's so much stimulus going on right now, it's a bit crazy. Um, that is awesome. Little mini comic when um, when Morty first meets Evil Morty and he finds all the other Mortys and they're all like, oh, he's a good Morty. This is the, the, the pamphlet that they give him. And that's, that's really cool. <laughs> so yay. Um, yeah. If you want us to take pictures of, of that, we can. Um, I don't particularly want to take it out of the thing. Call it the camera. That's cool. So that's Rick's junk spaceship that you built. That's season one. Hang on. Back cover. Just for complete continuity. And then you can do two. That one is just Blu-ray, I think. Or is this is Blu-ray on DVD? How's that? Don't know. So you're, you're sharing along with us because half this stuff we haven't opened. 
mainly because I'm such a geek collector, I don't like opening things. And I get told off all the time because you'll see in a minute. All my pops are still in their box, like as if they're in a shop, because I just love them and like to look at them. And we're so close to completing all of wave one. Oh, it's very similar to the same. It better not be exactly the same. Now, just to compare, right? <laughs> we can see the slip case is completely different. Pull that back out. Oh. Aha! The slip case is completely different. Oh. What? Crack in the case. There's oh, yeah. a crack in the case. But, ha! <laughs> oh, God. Do you know what? I just love everything to do with Rick and Morty. The bit, if you just hold it up backwards, like that. Like you just did, just then. No, other way. That's exactly the same. We just saw that, didn't we, from the first season. But, does anybody know what that is? I'm sure you do if you're a fan. What is it? Timber, sir. Yeah. And look what we got here. <laughs> it's, it is actually... <laughs> it is actually... A manual on how to look after your plumbus in an alien language. Look, the, the, the fairly scroll back there, there is some English usage and restrictions, troubleshooting. Ever wondered where uh, Plumbus is? Watch Rick and Morty. And they tell you I was made as well. In uh, Interdimensional Cable Part 2. Yeah. Can't, don't ask me to call episode numbers, right? Because I'm not doing that. Uh, it's awesome. For anyone who's interested, again, if you want pictures, we can put it. There you go. This is exciting. I'm excited. Oh. Hey, we didn't know these were in there, did we? So no. We are hoping they would be, but nice little extra surprise. A little extra end of Christmas, happy holidays, yeah. human holiday surprise. Can you believe it's New Year's Eve? And you're probably thinking, why are we taking this long to show you these things when Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you want to call it, was a little while ago. Well, I'll tell you why, my friends. It's because now is the only time we've had time. So this is the Mr. Me Seeks Mystery Box by Funko. That make all the pop line figures. I'm sure you've seen them. You know, they, they take popular pop culture um, characters and turn them into stylized versions of them. Very casual. So this was a Hot Topic exclusive. Heather, you will know exactly what this is. Um, I didn't want to open it because I'm a stickler for collecting things and keeping them in their packaging, but I know there's something very special inside, so I have to. So, if you'll do the honours, please. Right. Do you want to have a look at this? Let's go for the pop first set. Oh. Hot Topic exclusive, Young Rick. Oh my gosh. How mm. awesome. He's wearing his blue pants. No, I'm not Young Rick. But how cool. You see how different the portal gun is as well? And this is the only way to get this pop. Unless you want to pay mega bucks on eBay or, or you know, a friend who will give you one. How cool does he look? He, he's part of. We have two by the look of it, if you turn it around. Wave two contains those. But the only way to get him is through this box. So I'm, I'm very pleased. He's from season three, episode one, when, you know, the whole fake fabricated origin story of um, Beth and Rick's wife get killed. Yeah. That's Ooh, this is a strange one. It's a Me Seek Stress Ball. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is surprisingly heavy. Heavy. It's me, it's me! It, I think it's filled with like sand. That's, that's, quite, yeah, that's quite cool for me. Yeah, that'd be. Oh gosh, I'm gonna get high on that. 
That's pretty cool. I'd recommend you get that. Maybe keep an eye on EMP because if you're lucky, sometimes they get Hot Topic exclusive stuff. Um, I I follow Hot Topic on Twitter. Twitter is my social media platform that I go on. Some of does Instagram, he does Facebook, YouTube, everything besides Twitter, basically. So I just keep an eye on what's coming up. This is really cool. You can probably recognize this from the show. What, what I like about all of these is they make it relevant to things in the show. So it's kind of breaking the fourth wall type thing, which they like to do sometimes very subtly. That's Morty's adventure card when he gets his stamp. Ten times you can go on an adventure of his choice. Yeah, how cool is that? Ah, oh, that's awesome. These are Rick's sticky notes. By the look of it, that's really cool. When I bet I'm back to work, you can be sure I'll be taking them with me. That's cool. A little mini portal gun keyring that will go on my car keys. For your car keys. Our car keys. Our car keys. And snowball. Little pop pen. Again, all these items are exclusive to the Mystics box. So the only way to get them is by getting this box or trolling eBay. But chances are they're going to charge arm and leg or charge you more for shipping and stuff. Because wait, 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 the portal gun. Here we go. I'm rambling quite a bit. We've got an awful lot to get through. You can only see how much we've got. But I must stress, we've saved and saved for this. And if it wasn't for Heather, thank you so much, Heather, for storing all this in her house. And also, Van's um, family connection friend, thank you for storing these things and then shipping them over to us. We would never have them, so thank you. Thank you, it's made our Christmas. And yeah, thank you. Um, comics, oh, wow. Well, I'm not opening this, guys. Sorry, it's signed by Mark Ellaby. Mark, you're the best. You always answer me on Twitter. Mark is one of the artists on the Rick and Morty comics. This is issue number one, guys. First print. Do you know where I got this from? Page 45. There's a little comic book store in the UK. Uh, look it up on Twitter. They got quite a few Rick and Morty comics to come in, and the best part of all, the entire proceeds of this comic went to Oxfam for Christmas. So I was delighted with that, and this is probably the rarest comic I'll ever own in my life. If you look at the first print issue one Rick and Morty comic, it's an awful lot of money, and I got it for a steal. So thank you so much to everyone involved, and thank you to the people at page 45 for keeping hold of it for me and shipping it to me for Christmas. Thank you. Mm -hmm. this, the, this is a bit one-sided. It looks like only I have got all these things, but Van Wolf has got stuff. <laughs> I mean, see this? I don't know if you can tell what it is, but um, if you're up to date with Rick and Morty, sorry, spoilers, season 3, the toxic episode, um, rest and r relaxation, when they get separated from the toxins and everything they perceive to be toxic about themselves, it says, just relax, I think, yeah. and it's, it's Christmas Eve, got that from Zen Monkey Studios, they are awesome, and they yeah, made, more about them now in a minute. yeah, sorry, I'm getting distracted. This is, um, what do you call this? This is pocket like a, like you stole it. yeah, I know it's pocket like you stole it. This is, um, it's not a one shot. I wouldn't say it's a one shot. It's, it's a series. Series. Yeah, that'll do. Mini series of comics. Rick and Morty comics. This is the New York Comic Con exclusive variant that's drawn on and signed 
Bye, the lovely Mark. I will be once more. I like to buy the majority of my comics from Mark. Wherever he sells them, I haven't got. If I got money, I buy from him because he's awesome. And he can even make dedications out and put whatever you want on them. So thank you very much, Mark. You have a link to his store down below, innit? Yeah, we'll, we'll put as much as we can. And anything that we forget, just let us know. We can let you know where we get stuff from. Monkey, yeah. So, excuse me one moment. It is New Year's Eve here in the UK at the moment. I just need to make sure everything is okay. It's like ten past nine in the evening. Just need to double check everything is cool. I am quite cold in this dress to be honest, but it's so flipping awesome. Right, Zen Monkey Studios. They are well. I don't really know how to describe them other than they're flipping epic and they work their butts off for the fans. They love Rick and Morty, they, they, they got a load of other licenses for, um, and they recently got things like Avatar and what's that movie theatre thing? Well, yeah, I don't know the name of it, sorry. Look them up, Zen Monkey Studios, especially on Twitter. They've got a awesome, awesome website. They do t-shirts like this. They do long sleeves. They've got an Amazon store as well. Um, at Christmas they said to do limited edition things such as, I mean, look at that. How cool. And, and they're even cooler in person because they're, they're enamel and, and they're glitterified and lovely. Um, it was a sad day because I took these off today because is the end of um, Christmas really so they'll go away now until next year but it's okay because I can't get enough of them without my load again spoilers we'll have to put in big letters spoilers but if you haven't caught up by now sorry this is President Evil Morty limited edition from New York Comic Con and they're all numbered again I have difficulty in opening things to see what numbers they are because they're so cool and collectible. Oh yes, food and cosplay. Eddie, Eddie, you are a flipping legend, my friend. He got me this along with some other things, which I will show you once we get to them, once we've gone through all the pins, and I'll be sure to credit everyone. Yeah, there's another pin that he picked up for me. Bless him, he went to New York Comic Con and I asked if he could grab me some Rick and Morty stuff because I've never been to New York and I don't I ever will. Um, there it is. I am being well. Got me that. How cool is that? That's like their family time double pin set. I mean, it says it all really, doesn't it? Rick and Beth are drinking. Uh, Morty doesn't look particularly happy with Jerry. Summer looks really mad. What's that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've got so many of them, you'll have to take photos and put them up. We'll take some photos and add them onto the video. Yeah. As this is the bag. Oh. Yeah. And the majority of them, to addition, they glow in the dark. They're numbered. Once they're gone, they're gone. I I've never collected pins before, but I've never loved anything. As much as I love Rick and Morty, I, I don't know where it is. I just think it's brilliant. So, yeah, I, I try to alternate my clothing with the pins now. <laughs> You've got one too. Aye. This, oh, this. If we would start taking it apart and, and you're looking at it. We will do a construction thing with yeah. all of them when we get base. Yeah, because. Um, this is essentially Rick and Morty official construction toy in a similar vein to Lego. So you can build Rick's garage. And it's even got a little Morty like minifigure and a little Rick, but he looks sad and I love Rick. Look how many pieces, 293 pieces to build that. Yeah, so that's going to be some fun yeah, building there. Yeah. That's what it all looks like. 
I'm going to put photos again in the thing so you can have a closer look. The other problem is we don't have enough room in my room to set things up. Yes. We need to be a bit more adult, get rid of things and get glass cabinets and things like that. Yeah. And then we will. Um, again, courtesy of Heather, thank you for drawing these for me. Oh, I bought any of these for the Christmas lines. Yeah, Heather yeah. is... <laughs> oh, no. No, Ramel bought them, but Heather stored them in America and shipped them to us. And we didn't have to pay customs. Which would have cost... He did. Very lovely, thank you. No, Doofus Rick, and as you can see, um, this is exclusive to GameStop. So Again, you'll show up at Dover. Oh, this one is particularly cool. This is Twinkles with Ghost in a Jar. And she glows in the dark. And she's a 2017 Summer Con exclusive. San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Um, you probably know you could get a bunch of these for a very limited time on um, Spin Planet in the UK and EMP sometimes. But they, they go really quick, so it's just. When you see them or if you see things that are coming out keep an eye on funko's various social media streams and they let you know when things are coming out and then you can pre-order and do well okay. this one was picked up for you from mcn by matthew from um iconic legion and the the uk garrison make sure you've seen her about uh he picked this little fellow up a while back excuse me yeah Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And what I particularly like about I love Mr. Meesix. I think Mr. Meesix is awesome. What I love about this particular version of him, because there's quite a few different versions, he's so worried. Look at his little face for the music box. And then I can't see which ones you're looking at today, but there's an angry one, as you can tell. But they, and there's also a very happy one. So there's a the few Meesix. <laughs> yeah. A small Meeseeks army. You'd think that somebody couldn't play golf. Jerry, I mean, come on. Oh, oh no, we've got a pop final avalanche going on here. Oh no. Stay with us. This is one of my holy grail. Um, it doesn't look like much, but it's Rick with his portal gun, and he's in a pop protector. And he's a Hot Topic exclusive. And yes, I know, if I was quicker, I could have got it from Boon Planet, wherever it was cheap, blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to be honest, I only got into um, Rick and Morty in the summer by recommendation of a colleague. If it wasn't for my colleague, I wouldn't even know what Rick and Morty was. So by the time I found out about all these, they'd already been, like, I don't know, Even retired done. or whatever. So yeah, but this is one of my all-time favourites. I do have issues with Rick having the, the green saliva drool, whatever. I understand he's a drinker, I understand he's in pain, but I, I do have issue with it. But um, I can deal with it because he's got his ball gun, it looks really cool. Sorry if you're bored by this video, but we're not stopping. And we will get to more stuff other than Rick and Morty. Please don't think we're rich and stuff because we're totally not. We are skint as flip. Um, but we saved up for a heck of a long time uh, because we've had a particularly bad year. Not that you need to know that. But um, yeah, I've been unwell, so this was a treat, wasn't it? So, yeah. This um, is Crombopulous Michael. He is a Fall Convention exclusive. And I can't remember for the life of me where I'm going from. It was meant to be from EMP, it was meant to be a shade exclusive. It took forever, I think I ended up getting it from eBay. Oh, I think it was eBay. Yeah. Again, another GameStop exclusive Evil Morty me come on. If you're going to get a Morty, get an Evil Morty, right? We have got a normal Morty as well, Mike. But if you're going to get a Morty, you're going to need one. 
Oh, the weapon I thought you were. A weapon I is more e even better. Look at look, just look at that anger. Look. The Mortys are just coming thick and fast now. Ever played pocket pocket Mortys? No? Get on it. Look it up. It's the best. Play it. Let's play online. Play? Yeah. I'm not very good at online, so I need all the friends I can get. <laughs> I did the story mode. This, I felt really sorry for Mr. Puppy's that door when he got shot by Bear. Sorry again, spoilers. I mean, I'm sure you know he got shot by Beth by now. Because uh, she thought he was a parasite. That was after he got shot by Beth. He's got his walking stick and his tablets. Really? Yeah, I yeah. didn't even know it. You haven't looked at it yet, probably, have you? No. Oh man, how cool is that? See, Funko commits. Though I will say, Funko, I love you for all the different pops you brought out. Please, 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 please bring out a tiny Rick. Everybody wants a tiny Rick pop. Please comment and, and like just tweet them or, or Facebook them or whatever. Because we need one. We've got so many others and they keep saying, oh, well, they've got like pint sized heroes and they're quite tiny. Yeah, but that's not tiny Rick. Tiny Rick is completely different to Rick. He's his clone, and he hasn't got his belt, and he's got different hair. Give us a tiny Rick. I love tiny Rick, that's why I'm tiny Ricky. This is Flock Snowball from Stanley's, bleh, Stanley's Comic Con, LA Comic Con, which I got from Hot Topic. I can I even know from... Weaponized By the way, half of these are, uh, are Venom Wolves, so... I just like the exclusive. Um, again, the drool I know has become a signature thing and you get used to it, but... For me, it's a bit like... Mm. Oh, well, these are mine. From the Disney store. How cool is this? You moved away from um, Rick and Morty for a moment. Let's look at some Disney oh, stuff. Only for a second. Oh, on. only for a second. Cause yeah. we, oh, it's only ever for a second. Uh, these are Tum Tums, Zum Zums. I, I don't know the proper pronunciation and I'm never going to know. How cool is that though? I mean, it's in a coffin. We collect them. We've got dozens. Yes, millions. Of different ones, Star Wars ones, Marvel ones. So we just thought they were really cool, and as you can see, all the different characters and they're collectible. Holy Grail of Pops, dear goodness. This is the one I wanted most out of all the Pops that are out to get right now. Because, look, man, I mean, come on. Seriously, how cool. I, I don't even know where we got this from. I think it was eBay. I think. No, Facebook. 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 It was the Facebook. I don't know Facebook. He was in charge of starting that. UK. Thank um, you. We joke, one of the Facebook trading, pop trading groups. They got it from a gentleman on there. Thank and you. And we got. So um, they give us that. Oh, they give us more to you as well. They're very cheap, to be fair. Uh, very reasonable. We Thank won't say you. We and it was your, that was your Christmas present as well? That was my main one because that's the one I've wanted for ages. How cool is this, right? When, when ever would you expect Bruce Wayne's mother to be the Joker? Well, there she is, Arthur Wayne. And probably the most impressive pop protector I've ever seen. Pop Except pop. for the fact that it is a pop protector. But was broken. <laughs> but at least the pop was protected inside of it. <laughs> hmm? Look. It protected the pop, but it's oh. not invincible at the end of the day. It is only a pop protector. <laughs> Hot topic. Yes. Alright, what have we got here? Oh, we got normal Rick. We nearly missed. Had to get normal Rick. He's got his thick flask. Oh, I should mention as well my version of female Tiny Ricky. Is from Dimension um, FEM two eight zero eight. 
I'm making that into that, I'm not too sure yet. She is more or less the complete opposite to C137 Rick in that she doesn't drink. She doesn't swear either. So that's why I'm not drinking or swearing. Just in case you're wondering. And this is Mark 1 of the cosplay. I like detail. Lots and lots of detail. And because I'm, I'll be a tiny version, I won't have the belt, but I want you to see this belt. By the way, this is from um, Much Needed Merch, a very good web store. Um, check them out. They sell a lot of really cool TV and movie related apparel. You can speak to them on Twitter. They're good. Check them out. This is really reasonable. It's got a lot of detail. And it says I'm to get the lab coat and the pants and top, belt, the dress. Different. No. Next, Art of Rick and Morty. How cool. Remember I told you I like heavy books? I like it. He also books. glows in the dark. How are we going to show that? We're going to show that later. I'll take a video of that later. Yep. Uh, in fact, this is very good if you're going to do any sort of costuming or anything of the Rick and Morty stuff as it has all breakdowns of the characters and... Very good for referencing. Where yeah. is Misty? We have our own snowball, a real life snowball uh, called Misty. I'm going to take some photos and put them into the thing later so you can have a look. That's what I mean. Hello, go, oh, it's all Anthony Ray Johnson there. Yay! I recommend you read um, Pocket Like You Stole It, by the way. That's Mark Ellaby's, um main mini comic series that he's worked on. It's flipping epic. It's so funny. I was crying reading the first issue. So if you like Rick and Morty and you're struggling with the fact that we haven't got a Christmas special, which we were all hoping would come out, get into the comic. Christmas special. We have Christmas tum tum. Yay! How cool are they? And uh, look at the detail. I got these commissioned by someone called Louise Colton. She's on Etsy and also on Twitter. Um, we Wubs You, I think, is her Twitter handle. Candy Cane, little Morty, and Rick has his ever faithful organ. And we had these as well, you made these, made trust in you. Yeah, she also made these. She's a very, 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 very talented uh, young lady. And she is so open to um, the creative process. Anything you want discussed with her, anything you want changed, and she'll help you do that. And if you look closely on the sometimes we've had the dates put on them. So that, oh, plan is every year we'll get a different character or in a different costume with the dates and slowly collect them all. We did have a few extra tum tums to go in the tum tum pile. Yep. So that's Sandy Claus Jack Skeleton from Nightmare for Christmas. Dima Baymax. Baymax. It's really hard to get hold of. eBay. It's Doc Ock to go with our Spider Man. Yep. It's Doc. Mike Grzowski from Monster Bing. Hey, back to his armor. Woohoo! Well, I think we're missing one, but I can't see him at the minute. We're missing zero, are we? Yeah, we've got zero and we've got ordinary Jack Skeleton and Sally, but they seem to not be here at the moment. Yeah, so we got by here. We got Hot Topic exclusive. This is mine now. This is Dobes. Uh, I love Baymax. And this is glow in the dark. I haven't seen him glow in the dark yet. I will try to get a video of him glowing in the dark later, hopefully. I think he's really cute. All the dogs, again by Funko, they're just legends. They just keep coming out with different lines of things. And I really hope we get Rick and Morty dogs because I think they'd be adorable. Well, we I got just dogs. In the front, Christmas Stitch. Yay! Uh, see, he's a Funko, Funko Shop exclusive. Now he's limited to a certain amount of numbers. I haven't taken him out of the box because I think Sash would bath it anyway. You can do real life for this. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to put it away for Christmas because I'll get shot if I keep it out. No, it's just unlucky to have Christmas stuff around when it's not Christmas. That's what we got. We've got Ghost Rider. 
Close in the dark. Close in the dark. If I look in here, see if we get a video of him closing in the dark. Oh, yes, he's done little things in there. Oh, but very nice. Oh, and he was exclusive if I was an exclusive too. PX Preview Exclusive. What else have we done here? Another Hot Topic Exclusive for you? Yeah. Christmas Holly Rock Candy. How cute does she look? I, I want to cosplay that version of it. Maybe next year. I haven't been on my cosplay game much recently, but because uh, I've been so well. I want some better. She's definitely on the list. Mm -hmm. Sally, rock candy, how cute. She got a deadly night shade. Very cool. Rock candy. I don't know where I got it from. Your brother. Oh, yeah, a gift. Yeah. Um. Oh, how adorable is she? She is a she, okay? I don't care if you, you think this is a, a, a guy embryon, this is my embryon. She's a girl, her name's Noir. And she's adorable. I've been told she has to come out of a box. And... <laughs> She will, not right now, mm. because, yeah, so if you look, yeah she is, if you're a Pokemon fan, you know there's multiple evolutions, she's the dark form of BB. yeah. I think I said that, I think I said that. No. no. Mm. We've got more Rick and Morty construction sets. I'll oh, put pictures of them in the thingy. Yeah. Big grab, we literally have the entire currently available set of them. A little Rick Funko pen. And I think we, we are there with stuff that would interest you. No, we are not. What? Behind us, you will see things. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I, Christmas or winter ready Bulbasaur, we we'll talk. A uh, bear? Yep, web exclusive, pattern scarf. He is massive. If we just, I mean, I never expected Bulbasaur to be this big. He's so cuddly. Listen to him. Wow. I love him. He's awesome. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, I think Rick would like him too. Well, little Ricky does, so whether Rick likes it, it doesn't matter. And we have, I'll yeah, uh, we'll show, show you pictures of these. We have multiple Christmas stitches. Uh, there's Crump there, that's a nice one. Mm. Uh, we have Big Lumberjack one, and Stitch and Angel. You have, yeah. This is Snow Festival, a lowland Vulpix. Look how beautiful she is. And look, the, the snowball has been made into a Pokeball. I just think that's so adorable. For my brother, a gift. Thank you very much, Ryan. He also got me all my favourite Dragon Ball Z characters as action figures. Um, they're very fragile at the moment. And I didn't want to risk bringing them out, breaking them. So we'll take some pictures. But I've got um, Super Saiyan Vegeta, Super Saiyan Goku, Trunks, I think one more but I can't think of Thank you very much. I think that's it. <laughs> Bye.